Hi everyone, my name is Katrina and I'm the 4-E Chief Development Educator for Unit 22, Madison, Monroe, and St. Clair Counties. And today we are going to learn how to make egg muffins. And so not only are these super nutritious and good for your body, they are also super convenient to just pop in the microwave in the morning. And so we are going to go ahead and get started. The first thing that you want to do is preheat your oven to 350. The next step is going to be to grease your pan. And so for your pan, um, I have a six muffin set. I have a 12 muffin set. And then I also have another set that has very small muffins. And so you can use any size that you want. For today, I am going to use the six. And so you can grease your pan with coconut oil, avocado oil, or any oil that you have at your house. You're going to spray each section and then just kind of spread it around with a paper towel to make sure it gets on the edges and everywhere. If you have cupcake holders, you can also use that in here as well. So for today, again, I'm going to make six. So I have six eggs in my bowl. And I'm going to go ahead and whip these up. If you would like to do an even healthier version, you can use egg whites as well. Or you could do three eggs and then um, the equivalent of what that would be for egg whites. All right, so this is whipped up pretty good. The next step is going to be to put it into my pan. And so I just have a spoon here, a pretty big spoon. And I am going to start putting that into my pan. So I fold them up about halfway. The next step is going to be to add whatever ingredients you would like in your eggs. So today I have tomatoes. These are fresh Roma tomatoes that I cut up to put in, to put in here. And so I am going to put tomatoes in all of them because I love tomatoes. Another way to do this, if you don't want to put your ingredients in like if, if separately, you can also put it in your bowl and then mix it all up and then scoop it in at the end. I'm doing individually so I can make a few different combinations. The next step I'm going to do is add my spinach. This is spinach that I chopped up thinly that I'm going to add. The next ingredient I'm going to add is chopped up turkey bacon. So this turkey bacon I already cooked on the oven and chopped it up. So if you're going to add any meat, you do want to make sure it's cooked before you put it into your pan. Other meats that you could do are any type of deli meat. You could do ham, that's a really common one as well. The next step, cheese. And I have Kobe cheese, but you could add any type of cheese that you have at your house or that you like. And I'm gonna add cheese to all of them just because I think cheese always makes everything taste better. And lastly, my last ingredient I have is going to be red bell pepper. Again, I chop this up very finely, and I'm going to add that to a few of them as well. And 
And lastly are going to be your spices. So again, you can add this in in the very beginning. If you don't want to add spices to every single one, you can do it separately. So I have garlic powder and onion powder. And so I'm gonna put both of these in about half of what I'm cooking today and just barely anything is what you wanna put on since the holes are pretty small. Sounds like the oven is preheated. And the very last thing you wanna do, I do have a little more egg in my bowl and I have a little bit more room in my pan. So I'm just gonna add a little bit more egg to each hole just to kind of cover up all the ingredients they just put in. All right, now that my egg muffins are ready to put in the oven, um, I'm gonna go ahead and get my oven mitt. And you want to put these in, every oven is a little different, but about 25 to 35 minutes is usually how long it takes to have the muffins get cooked through fully. And so you'll go ahead and put them in your oven. Make sure you put your timer on. And then you wait and then they'll be done. And so you can obviously have these in the morning, lunch, dinner, just for a snack. Um, they really go with anything. And so once they're completed, I will take a picture of them and I will post it on this post as well. And so I hope you guys enjoy the video today. And a few other things I wanted to add to the video was these are all optional ingredients. And so some things I didn't say today would be mushrooms, broccoli, any type of vegetable like that you wanna add, you're more than welcome to. This is just what I had in my kitchen today. So that's why I did those. So I hope you guys enjoy.